Okay, Matt, um, tomorrow evening uh, it'll be appearance 199 for London Welsh um, and a big occasion. Yeah, it's massive. I've never seen it come much bigger, really, uh, than tomorrow night. It's, um, it's a fantastic opportunity for us. We, uh, we have the potential to win an incredible prize, and that's a place in the Aviva Premiership. And uh, we're very keen, you know, we're going down, we're highly motivated, we feel like we're in a good position, but we know that. This is a this is a big job ahead of us. Going down to Bristol to win a game of rugby um, is always going to be a challenge, and that's uh, that's what we're focusing on. I suppose it would be nice if it was the uh, if it coincided with your 200th, but just not quite. It's funny. My uh, my wife said exactly the same thing, and I said either way it doesn't matter. To play 199 games for London Welsh, regardless of you know of what game it's in, it, I feel very proud of that achievement. Um, that's something that I'll be proud of you know for the rest of my life and. If I get to 200, that's fantastic, but uh, for now, I'll take the win in the uh, 199. I suppose if things had worked out differently, of course, with the because you, you missed a lot of the season, you would, this is a milestone you would have, you would have brought up. Yeah, I, we're talking about my mid-season holiday that I had, which was uh, which was obviously a bit of a strange experience for me because I've been very fortunate. In I haven't really missed. You know, I think I've probably missed about two weeks in my whole time in London, where I was like a hamstring tear, and I've been very fortunate. So. Yeah, for, at, at certain stages in this season, I, I didn't know if I would be back playing this season at all. So, for me to have made it back, you know, had a fairly good run, and I'm, I'm fairly happy with the way my games going. I know there's obviously things for me to work on, but yeah, to have made it back and be playing in the final, it's it's, it's nothing less than a dream come true for me. It was the uh, the heart condition that you had which kept you out for it was five months. Yeah, it was about five months. Yeah, um, I had a, a bout of atrial fibrillation. Um, which is supposedly quite common in sportsmen. Five percent of sportsmen suffer from it, um, and it's it's more common in, in taller people. But uh, yeah, so and that seems to have, that's completely cleared up. And the nice thing is, as I've been saying to people, that for all the rest, my body's really fresh. And you know, watching rugby for five months makes you really hungry. So uh, you know, I'm, I'm really hungry and highly motivated to uh, go down tomorrow and win. How do you approach the game? What's the mindset? Because you, it, can you put out the fact that you've got a 19-point advantage and treat it as nil-nil? I think it's different for everyone. If different individuals like it different. For me, it's completely out of my mind. I won't even be thinking about it. We'll just be going down to win a game. If we're ahead in the score, I know that we're ahead. I know that's because my maths is a bit ropey, but uh, I know that if we're winning, we're fine. And the only way we can guarantee that we are going to be successful in this competition is if we win two games of rugby. We've done that the first leg and you have to do that again in the second. What's going to be key because you've obviously been here before with London Welsh two years ago having a, a second leg and having to uh, get over the line with, with a lead, uh, 16 points against the Pirates it was. Um, you've been here before, what's going to be key? The key things are in any tight game is to make sure that you know, whoever takes the chances is going to obviously win and that's massively down to who deals with the pressure best who has you know the best game plan and who's the most accurate, and I think a combination of those factors will you know will lead to one team or the other winning the game. So it's massively key for us that we want to play in the right areas of the park. We want to be clinical. We know we have to be accurate because in tight occasions you don't get many chances and you have to take them. To some extent, do you feel that you're going a little bit into the lion's den? I mean, it's going to be a big crowd at the Memorial Stadium. It's, it's the last game, um, and Bristol have to come out. The nice thing for us is that that's, that's just not even on my radar really. That's for Bristol to worry about, and you know w w what's going on on their side of the fence is is very much up to them. And it's nice that we can just focus on ourselves as a group. We can focus on what we've been working on this week and what we've been working on all season, and make sure that we go down. And I think for me personally, playing in front of a crowd of eleven thousand is fantastic. Whether they're your fans or someone else's, it it provides an amazing atmosphere. And uh, you know, I expect the atmosphere to be electric. So yeah, you know, there'll be some great volume and I'm really looking forward to playing in that sort of environment.